Okay, I have something really important I need to do before we get started in today's hunt. Go ahead and go here to the store. Shotgun, or 16 gauge, right there. Let's go to town. Let's get us a bunch of birdshot because we're going to be using the heck out of the shotgun over the next couple of weeks. So we're going to need a lot of birdshot. Slugs and stuff, not so much because we'll mainly be using the rifles. But for shooting the pheasants and stuff, we're going to need a lot of birdshot. I think 709 rounds of birdshot will do just fine for a while. Anyways, here we are with the brand new Calso model 1897. We have the Ranchero out here today. You can see the stats right there, 33 accuracy, 29 reload speed, 82 recoil, and 88 hip shot. If we compare that to the Cacciatore 12 gauge, those stats are the exact same, other than the ammo count, obviously, or the, the magazine size or whatever. The Calso model 1897 will cost you $45,000. There is three variants, the Ranchero, the Soldado, and the Vaquero, I believe is that, that's how that's pronounced. The Soldado looks like uh, that has to be unlocked through the story missions, which I will be doing sometime in the future. All right, so there you go. There's the price of the shotgun. There's the stats. And uh, let's go shoot some stuff with it. Ah, look at those big old ears. The antelope, antelope jackrabbit. That's my first time actually, actually seeing one here in the game. Well, there's actually a couple. Can't complain about that. For a second, let me remove my waypoint so I can actually see what the heck I'm shooting at. Let's scooch up here a little bit. Oh, wow, we actually have a couple. Kind of hard to see where they went exactly. I see one sitting there still. Check out that reload animation, by the way. Very cool. It's like a tactical reload. Oh, we have a confirmed trophy right here. This is a modeled. Wow, those actually look cool. really cool. I think, I honestly feel like this is going to be my new favorite rabbit species in the game. These are just really cool looking. Look at those big old ears, man. So you can see, I mean, it does the job against the rabbits, obviously. You got five rounds in there. It pumps pretty dang quickly. And uh, not to mention, it does sound very good. And hey, we have some pheasant over here. Let's go try and shoot some pheasant out of the sky. Uh, one thing I am going to tell you about this thing is that you have to lead your shots a lot. Like, you have to lead very far ahead of whatever you're shooting at, or you're not going to hit them at all. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. Take, take the gun back out. Smoke that one. Smoke that one. I'm getting better here. I'm figuring out how much you have to lead it. Okay, we got a couple pheasant on there. That worked out really good. By the way, I don't even know what that first shot was. That was like a complete potato shot, but we got a gray here. We grounded her. I thought we shot her in the air, but maybe it just considered her, since she was kind of like trying to land there, maybe it considers uh, that as being grounded. I'm not sure, but oh, well, at least it was just a female or nothing special. Got another here, just another female. You can see 36 meter, meter shot. Got some pretty good penetration there as well. We actually went in and hit the liver. You normally don't hit the organs on birds like this, like when you're shooting ducks and stuff. You normally just hit them in the feathers and it'll bring them down. Uh, here's another one. We actually got a gold, 15.90, 30 meters out. We got four hits into them. Very, very nice. Um, in the future, I am definitely going to be doing a video comparing this shotgun to the Cacciatore 12 gauge. I mean, I, I think we already know the answer to that battle. It's probably just going to be the Cacciatore that takes the W. But honestly, guys, if you really think about it, that's not the point of having different guns in this game. Even though statistically, yes, the Cacciatore is probably going to be better and function better and everything. The reason they add guns like this that are statistically the same, basically, it's just to give you another option. At least you have a couple different guns to take out there and hunt with you instead of just having one shotgun to take out there and hunt you know what i mean at least they give you a couple options now my predictions though if you guys are wondering you probably don't care my predictions is that the next dlc will be a, a weapon pack that's my predictions hopefully i'm correct because we need some new weapons other than just a shotgun better get back here you Wait, guys, it's doing it again. It's not letting me shoot. It's not letting me shoot, guys. Oh my gosh, that was a fail. We gotta get back on the thing and chase it down again. Are you kidding me? That son of a gun. He got away. The cactuses saved him, dude. Oh, there he is. 
We got him. We smoked him through the bushes. He just piled up right there. Wow, that was that was hectic, man. Trying to chase that thing through the dang brush like that here in Mexico. Hitting those cactuses, finally getting them. Just a female too, but check out that 16 gauge buckshot. Look at the damage. Not bad, not bad. Damn, got him right in the paw. In the leg and in the paw. Yeah, he wouldn't go in anywhere. And in the lung, knocked the wind out of him, broke his legs. You're toast, buddy. You're toast. The brand new Calso model 1897. This thing is a beast. We're going to be using it a lot more here on Call of the Wild. Tons of the different maps. We'll go do some duck hunts within the future. Some geese hunts, some rabbit hunts, all that good stuff. But it's definitely going to be in our loadout for quite a while here while we're out here hunting on Rancho Del Arroyo. Arroyo, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe while you're at it, and yeah, that too. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Later.